Hello, welcome to recitation week 9. Today I will be discussing some problems on how to determine stability for a particular uh, linear system. So hopefully you guys already studied the material from Dr. Chaus. So there are basically uh, two approaches that can be used to determine stability of a system. Say we have a transfer function and we want to determine the stability of the system. Uh, the first obvious approach is to find out uh, the pose of the denominator. So say this is the, we have uh, this transfer function. So we need to find the roots of this uh, polynomial, right? If the real part of the, of the roots are all on the left half plane then the system is stable otherwise the entire system is not stable that's the first approach by factorization the second approach which uh, do not rely on factorization is to use the root Hurwitz stability criterion so root Hurwitz stability criterion uh, can determine stability of a transfer function uh, while not solving for the roots of the polynomial so how to how to do that uh, on this recitation i will be uh, solving problems uh, using root root stability criterion okay so just for the heads up the first problem we have uh, this transfer function 1 over s to the 4 to plus 2 s cubed plus 3 s squared plus 4 s plus 5 and then we want to determine the stability of this transfer function. Uh, like I said, we can try to find uh, the roots of this uh, polynomial. But that can be cumbersome for uh, high order polynomial. Like you can do it for second order very easily, right? Using the ABC rule. But how about a higher order system? It will be difficult for you to find uh, the roots right so let's use the root or stability criterion the first step is let's uh, write the first column of the root table so this is the root table s4 s cube s square s or s to the one and one or s to the zero doesn't matter right and then uh, from uh, this polynomial on the denominator, uh, we should write the coefficient here. So S4, the coefficient to, uh, for S to the 4 is 1. The coefficient for S cube is 2. The next is, uh, it's a multiple of 2, right? S squared. So the power here is a multiple of 2. So you write 3 right here. And then at 4. And then lastly, we have 5. What about this? Well, we can put 0 here. How about uh, the coefficient over here? So the coefficient over here can be computed as 1 over 2, which is 2 it's coming from here. 1 over 2 multiplied by 2 times 3 minus 1 times 4. Okay. So 2 times 3 is 6 minus 4 is 2 over 2 is 1 so this is 1 similarly uh, the coefficient over here is 2 times 5 right so 10 minus 1 times 0 so 10 over 2 is 5 so we have 5 what about here here is 1 times 4 is 4 minus 2 times 5 is 10 so minus 6 over 1 is minus 6 minus 6 sorry about that and here is just 5 right we can see that or uh, on the on this column uh, there are two uh, sign changes right so sign changes uh, because we have this the sign over here is positive this is positive this is positive but here is negative so we have the first sign change 
from positive to negative and then from negative to positive so in overall we have two sign changes since there are two sign changes on the first column then we can conclude that there are two poles on the transfer function on the right half plane therefore the system is unstable okay so that's very simple so that's the the essential concept of uh, root theory so we can determine the stability of a linear system without uh, the need for solving uh, the roots of the polynomial okay uh, move on to the second problem we have another transfer function and uh, this time we have s to the 5 plus 2s to the 4 plus 3s to the cube 6s square plus 5s plus 3 okay let's use a uh, root or its stability criterion again since we have s to the 5 then let's write s to the 5 this is the on the first column s to the 4 s cube s square s to the 1 s to the 0 and then uh, again we write the coefficients on the this polynomial this is one right uh, this is two three six five and then three okay all right so we need to compute the coefficient over here so what is the thing so this one is two times three minus one times six which is zero and the coefficient over here is two times five which is ten minus 1 times 3 is 10 minus 3 is 7 over 2 is 7 over 2 and here uh, we have the uh, the first case which is we have a 0 on this column so how to overcome uh, this kind of case to do that uh, we need to assume that we can replace this with a small number say epsilon which is a positive number small positive number epsilon so let's uh, construct a new table this is our new table s5 s4 s cube s2 s1 s0 so the first two rows are the same one sorry one three five two six three as i said uh, we can replace zero with a small positive number it's an epsilon still we have seven over two epsilon is a small positive number so here we have one over epsilon right which is multiplied by epsilon times six so six epsilon minus 7 right and then here is epsilon times 3 minus 0 which is 3 epsilon of epsilon is 3 here is pretty complicated because we need to multiply this term with that and then subtract it with the multiplication of this with that divided by this so let's just uh, say it's x we'll compute x x is um, so epsilon over 6 epsilon minus 7 right and then um, we multiply this with that so 7 over 2 times 6 epsilon minus 7 over epsilon minus 3 epsilon okay you can simplify this which is equivalent to 12 
epsilon minus 14 minus 6 epsilon cube and then plus 42 epsilon minus 49 okay so what about the coefficient of this so this coefficient will be just the same with this one so it's 3 okay so for stability then we need to make sure that the first sorry the second column there shouldn't be any sign changes okay so since this positive is positive then epsilon should be positive which is uh, we have that because we assume that epsilon is a small positive number next we need to make sure that this is also positive and this is also positive okay so let us assume that epsilon is a small number like 0.1 okay then we can uh, compute these terms right here so first term is 1 over epsilon okay well, uh, we assume epsilon is 0.1 so 1 over 0.1 is 10 right 10 times 0.6 minus 7 right it is of course smaller than 0 right because 0.6 minus 7 is negative okay we have the first uh, sign change how about x let us substitute minus 6 0.1 cube plus 42 0.1 minus 49 12 times 0.1 minus 14 okay okay we know that this is very small this is very small this is very small so we have uh, minus over minus which is positive see that we have a uh, two sign changes again so this is negative but it's positive so this from positive to negative the first sign change from negative to positive second sign change so in total there are two sign changes that's why we can conclude that there are two poles on the right half plane so ts or the transformation is again unstable all right okay problem number three another transfer function t of s s to the five plus seven s to the four plus six s cube forty two s square plus eight s plus fifty six this is seven so let's write the root table s five s to the four s cube two one zero um let's write uh, the coefficient so one right one and then this is seven six forty two eight fifty six here is seven times six minus forty two right over seven which is zero seven times eight fifty six minus fifty six again we have zero and how to deal with this case so this is the second case the, because the first case we have zero on the on this column only but here uh, we have z uh, zeros on, on this row to do that uh, we can define a polynomial from this row so 7 is um, related to s to the 4 so 7s4 plus 42 
s square plus 56 right and we say it's equal to zero since it's equal to zero then we can divide with seven right to simplify as four plus this one is six square and this one is eight okay since uh this uh, and that both are essentially the same then we can replace this with 1682 because 168 and then what is the derivative of p over s so dp over d ds is 4s cubed plus 12 s plus uh, nothing so equal to zero so again if it's equal to zero we can simplify it to can divide by four or multiply with one over four we have s cube plus three s equals zero okay with that so we can replace uh, this row that is associated with s cube with this coefficient over here oh, sorry place a zero zero with one and three okay okay now we can continue to complete the root table here is one times six minus one times three which is three here is just eight and here is three times three is six minus minus uh sorry three, three times three is nine minus one times eight is eight so nine minus eight each is one over three so one over three or one third and then here is again eight so we can directly see that on this column there is no sign change so we can say that the trust function is stable okay So the next problem, problem number four. This is an interesting one because now I have a block diagram plus minus R of S and K over S cube plus 18 S squared plus 77s okay this is output we have negative feedback with unity gain and um, the question here is determine the set of k that makes the entire closed loop system stable okay so we need to find k the range of k such that the closed loop system is stable so that's the question to answer uh, this problem then first we need to compute the closed loop transfer function say again t of s which is t stands for transfer function and that makes sense and then what is the closed loop transfer function we have s cube plus 18 s squared plus 77 s and then this one is since we have uh, negative feedback then this is plus s cube plus 18 s square plus 77 s right simplified so it becomes k okay, s cube plus 18 s square plus 77 s plus k so what i'm doing here is that i'm multiplying uh, on the numerator and denominator with this polynomial s cube plus 18 s square plus 77 s resulting into this simplified transfer function okay okay so when you have a complex transfer functions try to obtain the most simple transfer function pos as possible okay because say okay you have this transfer function you know that uh, this transfer function on the left side and on the right side we know that they are equal because we have this 
equivalent sign they are equal but uh, you should uh, you should transform any transformation into a simplest form like this because from here we can directly uh, analyze the pose or the zeros of the transformation that which is pretty difficult if we have this kind of form right so to make uh, yourself easier always try to convert your transfer function into its simplest form as possible all right so that's uh, my suggestion okay since we need to find uh, the range of k that makes the closed loop system to be stable then let us construct the root table we have s cube s squared s1 s0 write down the coefficient 1 18 77 k um what about here here is 1 over 18 18 times 77 minus k right this is 0 and this is just k okay for stability then uh, on this column there shouldn't be any sign changes okay since this is positive this is positive then this should be positive and this also should be positive so we know that from here k should be positive and here we know that 18 times 77 minus k should be positive or k should be less than 18 times 77 right so this is dot right which is 1386 okay so now we have the rest of k that makes the closed loop system to be stable so we can construct this set so it's a real number so k must be greater than zero and also less than 1386 Okay, so this find k such that the closed loop system is stable. Sorry, see this will be find range, find range. So we have this range, right? Okay, so that's the problem number four. Last one, number five. We have another block diagram. It's similar equation, so we need to find the range of k that makes the closed loop system stable. Plus minus k over s. Uh, we have a feedback, but it's not a unity gain. It's a transfer function. S square plus 2s plus 1. c of s okay again for this type of problem then the first step is to find the closed loop transfer function t of s is you know so k over s 1 plus k over s times s minus 2 sorry s minus 1 s squared plus 2 s plus 1 right so of course you can simplify this so i left the so i will uh, let you simplify it and what i get is k s squared plus 2 s plus 1 and then s q plus 2 s square plus 1 plus k s plus sorry this is minus k okay so i leave the process of simplification as an exercise for you guys second step we should construct the rule table s cube s square s1 
is 0. Write down the coefficient 1, 2, 1 plus k, and then minus k. The coefficient over here is 1 half, 2 times this, so 2 plus 2k minus k, which is minus k. Sorry, so minus minus k is plus k, so we have 2 plus 3k. Here is just minus k, okay? For stability, then we need uh, this column uh, not to have any sign changes. So we know that minus k should be positive, and then 2 plus 3k also should be positive. From here, we know that k should be less than 0, right? And then here, so they are equivalent. We know that k should be uh, greater than minus 2 thirds. So for the system to be stable, again the question is find the range of k such that the closed loop system is stable so the rest of k is the following we have k greater than minus two thirds k and less than zero okay so any number here will make uh, the cost of system stable okay so that's uh, the end of this uh, lecture. If you have any question, uh, please send me email or come to my office hour. And I'll see you next week. Thank you.